Welcome to this introduction covering aspects of high fidelity simulation. High fidelity simulation uses technology to create a realistic situation and environment in which participants can engage in a scenario while suspending disbelief. High fidelity simulation requires considerable manpower and preparation. A typical team consists of the following. Team leader, actors, human patient simulator, participants or learners, and a facilitator or debriefer. The team leader is responsible for the smooth execution of the case scenario, which may be anything from delegating roles to handling unexpected situations that may arise during the simulation. This position may be the same or different from an operator who is responsible for operating the mannequin behind the scenes in the console room. Actors are responsible for creating the realism of the case scenario. They may take on roles such as nurses, surgeons, technicians, and administrative staff. Communication between actors and control room personnel using wireless audio devices is helpful to maintain a smooth flow of the scenario. The patient in most scenarios will be a human patient simulator. They are often capable of speaking, blinking, displaying pulses, and breath sounds. They also permit treatment interventions such as intubation, IV access, and central line placement. Please see our video on simulation technologies for more information on human patient simulators. Participants and learners come from a wide variety of backgrounds and training levels. They are given instructions prior to the simulation on what to expect and any potential limitations of the simulation. The goal of the simulation is to create a realistic environment for the learner so that they will react as they would in real life situations. The facilitator or debriefer is responsible for observing the simulation scenario and initiating a discussion in a non-threatening and organized way. The goal is to identify elements of the simulation that possess educational value and are pertinent to the course learning objectives. The simulation room is ideally a flexible setting that can be converted into a range of patient care environments such as operating rooms, emergency departments, obstetric wards, or anywhere a provider might be called to respond. The rooms are equipped with medical air, oxygen, and vacuum suction capabilities. Audio-visual equipment such as cameras and microphones are strategically placed, not only to follow the actions of the participants, but also to record the simulation for debriefing and feedback. A debriefing is a conversation between two or more people to review a real or simulated event in which participants analyze their actions and reflect on the role of thought processes, psychomotor skills, and emotional states to improve or sustain performance in the future. Video review of portions of the scenario can be helpful during a debriefing, especially when used to observe key moments, clarify recall discrepancies, or to offer a global view of the room to participants who might have been focused on a specific task. As both our technologies and techniques improve, the ever-increasing realism of simulation is allowing learners to become completely immersed in case scenarios. Learners can rehearse rare situations that might occur only once in an entire career and gain insights into how to operate as an effective team member in difficult situations. As we continue to learn more about the utility of simulation, we will expand its use and application in the field of anesthesia. Thank you for joining us on this overview of high fidelity simulation.